Alright, what's going on guys? Your boy TG, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to show you how to put on hockey equipment. Now this video is really for like little kids, so I'm really making this video just for them. Uh, little kids who are starting to begin hockey, uh, learning how to skate for the first time, learning how to play hockey for the first time, all that other good stuff. So, hockey parents, if you parents trying to get your kid into hockey, this is the video just for for you. So first what you want to do is you want to put on your jocks. Now my jocks are up underneath my uh, sweatpants right now uh, but jocks are super important to have on because you can't go out on the ice wearing sweatpants or any kind of pants that you wear to the rink. Uh, you cannot do that. So you're going to have to get jocks which I get. I got my jocks off of Pure Hockey. It's basically where I get all my hockey equipment from, from Pure Hockey. Now you can't see the jocks right now, which is the point, uh, because you don't want to just show up to the rink with your jocks on. You want to have something covering that until you get ready to, you know, take your sweatpants off. Now, as you can see, this is how you want to arrive to the rink, like this. No hockey equipment on just yet. You want to arrive to the rink like this. So. Uh, yeah, and then when you go into the locker room and stuff, that's when you uh, take off your shoes and you know, you get ready to take off your sweatpants and your underwear won't be showing, your underwear won't be showing, but your jocks is going to show, which is the whole point of getting jocks. Uh, now, just like in track, and you can ask me because I ran track ever since middle school, and I wore jocks um, when I was running track. So just like track, you wear jocks, and hockey, you wear jocks. So, and these are the jocks right here. Like I said, I got this off of Pure Hockey. You can see the logo right here. You wanna make sure you tighten up your jocks too, so they don't fall um, when you're out on the ice playing. Um, so yeah, just make sure you tie, tie up your jocks. Now that you have on your jocks, now that you took your pants off, you have on your jocks, your underwear is not showing. Uh, now what you want to do is you want to sit down and you want to put on your hockey socks. Now usually I work my way from bottom to top. Some people go from uh, top to bottom. Well, I work my way from the bottom to the top. So um, yeah. Oh wait, sorry, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. You put on the shin pads first. Next, next you put on the shin pads. After you have on the jocks, you put on the shin pads. So make sure they go all the way up to where the jocks start. So it should be on like this. And you wanna do the same thing for the other one, okay? You wanna do the same thing for the other one. Now you have to be easy with these. Uh, this little thing can tighten up your shin pads for you. So I usually tie mine to the tightest. So, so after you have on your jocks, you put on your shin pads and they should be like this, touching up to the top of the jock and going all the way down to your ankle. It should be like this. It should be like this, okay? So, just like this, I uh, touch all the way up to your jock and touch all the way down to your side. I just pop this one off. You want to make sure that you tie your shin pad very tight, guys, so they don't pop off like that. Make sure you tighten them very, very tight. Press it down if you have to. Oh, so they don't pop off like mine's just popping off like right now. But tighten them very tight, okay? So they don't pop off like mine's just did a few seconds ago. Uh, now that you have on the shin pad, you want to put on your hockey socks, which are right here. So don't put the hockey socks on first, guys. Put the shin pads on first, and then you put on your hockey sock, because you don't want your shin pads to show while you're out on the ice. So they're not supposed to show. So the hockey socks go under the shin pads. 
And make sure you don't stretch out the hockey socks. Uh, but if you do, you might have to go. Like I said, I got all my equipment off of Pure Hockey. So you can go there too and get your equipment off of Pure Hockey. So, yeah. I mean, Pure Hockey, they have, basically have what you need. And, like I said, they're like the best hockey website um, that you can get all your hockey equipment off of. It's what I do. And you should too. Don't go on Amazon. Well, actually, don't go on Amazon or any other website trying to search for hockey equipment. Uh, Pure Hockey has exactly what you need. But anyway, you guys see that I have on my hockey socks over my shin pad. Make sure that you don't put your hockey socks on and then you put the shin pads on. That's not how it's supposed to go. It's supposed to have on your shin pads first and then you put on the hockey socks so it can be just like this. Okay? Be just like this. It's not, your shin pads are not supposed to show when you're out on the ice. The hockey socks are supposed to go up underneath. Now that we got that done, I'm just going to take off my hat and jersey first before I put on these hockey pants. Hockey pants go next. Like I said, I worked my way from uh, bottom to top. So now you put the hockey pants on. Okay? And keep in mind, hockey pants, that hockey equipment is very, very expensive. Very expensive. So, what I would recommend is getting a few at a time. Getting a few at a time because it is very, very expensive. So, yeah. But anyway, you see that I got on my hockey pants. Make sure you tighten them up so that they won't have to sag down when you're out on the ice. So make sure you tighten your hockey pants up. Make sure you tighten them really, really tight so they don't fall down. It's like putting on a belt, basically. Like when you have on normal jeans, normal pants, you have on a belt and you tie it really tight so that your pants won't sag. It's the same thing for hockey. Okay. Now, now what you want to do is you want to put on your elbow pads. Like I said, I got this off of Pure Hockey. They have what you need. I would really recommend getting your hockey equipment off of there. So now you put on your elbow pads, make sure that you tighten them very tight. Make sure that your, make sure that your arm goes all the way through. Same thing for this side. You want your arm to go all the way through your elbow pads. Make sure it goes all the way through. All right, so now that I got on my elbow pads, now we can put on the shoulder pads. See, it's a lot, guys, when it comes to hockey. It is the greatest sport to play, but it's, the equipment is too expensive. So it's basically a lot. So now that I got all my elbow pads, now that I got on all my other stuff, I can put on the shoulder pads. I think I probably should. Alright, now you put on the shoulder pads. I think I probably should have put these on first before the elbow pads. Man. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to take this one off. Guys, you put on your... Uh, just say this, put it on your shoulder pads first before you put on the elbow pads. So now that I got uh, my shoulder pads on, I would usually put on my elbow pads first, uh, then put on my shoulder pads. So now that I got all this on guys, make sure that it goes all the way down. Make sure that it's not too tight. Um, now that I got all this on, now it's time to put on the jersey. Okay. So you put on the jersey. Uh, this is my Patrick Kane Blackhawks jersey. 
He was my favorite childhood hockey player growing up. I always loved copying and mimicking his skills and all you know all the other stuff. Fortunately, he got traded to the uh, New York Rangers. He's now he's currently a free agent right now, but during the 2022-2023 season, he got traded to the New York Rangers. So, yeah. So, yeah. Make sure you put on your jersey. Don't stretch out the jersey now. Like I'm almost about to. I had this jersey for a while. I think I probably should have got one of my other jerseys to put on in this video. I had this one for a while now. Ah, oh, boy. Yes. Putting on the jersey. It's supposed to be somewhat like this. Stretching out the jersey. Like I said, I had this jersey for a while, so uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Now that I got on the jersey, uh, make sure I'm looking right. Want to make sure you look like when you go out on the ice. And then you put on your helmet. So as you guys can see, I got the face shield. Right here, boy. So you don't get hit in the face with a puck. Make sure the jersey goes all the way down. Like I said, I had this jersey for a while. Now when I was playing and all the other stuff too. So now you got on all your other stuff. Now you just put on your skates. So these are uh, skates. You just put on your skates. And then boom, you're ready to go out on the ice. But I'm not gonna put them on in this video because of course I'm not at the ring or out on the ice. But I'm just saying that's the next thing that you would do. And then boom, you're ready to roll. You're ready to play hockey. I would recommend taping my stick um, so the puck doesn't feel weird or awkward um, on your blade of the stick. So that's why I would recommend it. Anyway guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit it with a like, hit it with a subscribe button. I hope um, the kids will have interest in hockey and love the game of hockey. I mean, like I said, it is the greatest sport, greatest game in the world to play. Just keep in mind, hockey fans, that uh, hockey equipment is very, very expensive. So what I would do, I would recommend uh, you know, you know, just take my time with it. Like, just get a few at a time, get a few next time, you know, you wanna save with your money. Don't get it all at once, because I'm telling you, it is very expensive. So just get a few at a time. That's what I had to do. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, hit it with a like, hit it with, hit it with a subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.